four and ten hundredths multiplication wrestling lesson. So why is our lesson about multiplication wrestling? Well, this happens to be a game that's going to help you again with some of those strategies multiplying two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. So with this particular game, you're going to see a game sheet that looks similar to the one that I have here on the screen. And you're going to use a deck of cards. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick four cards. So let's say that we pick the number four, we pick the number eight, we pick the number six, we pick the number seven. And you're going to write those card numbers down where it says card. So you can write these in any order, and I'm just going to write them in the order that I wrote them above. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make two two-digit numbers with those numbers that you picked from the deck. So the object of the game, of course, is to try to make the largest product that you can when you multiply those numbers. So you probably want to be thinking about making the biggest number that you can with those four digits. So if I were going to make the biggest number that I could with those four digits, my first number might be 87. So I'm going to write that here. And then my next biggest number that I can think of is 64. Now you might think of something different, and that's okay. But those are the two numbers that I chose. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those two numbers into what we call teams. And basically, I want you to think back to how we partitioned our rectangles and we learned about partial products and we took apart our numbers um, like 87 and we made it into 80 plus 7. So I am going to do that very same thing again. So this is going to become 80 plus 7 and 64 is going to become 60 plus 4. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to multiply those numbers times each other. Now, if they're on the same team, they cannot be multiplied with each other. That means 80 and 7 are on the same team. So I'm not going to multiply those two numbers together. I'm going to take the number 80 and I'm going to multiply that times 60 and then I'm going to take 80 again and I'm going to multiply times 4. So when I work that out, 8 times 6 is 48 and then I'm going to move my two zeros over there. I've got 4,800. My second problem, I've got 8 times 4 as my basic fact is 32. And then I'm going to add my zero back in. So then I'm going to come back and go to the number 7. The number 7 has to be multiplied by the two numbers on the other team. So it will be 7 times 60 and 7 times 4. Do my basic fact, 7 times 6, which gives me 42. Add my 0 back in. Do my basic fact, 7 times 4 gives me 28. And now I'm going to add all of those numbers together to get my final answer. And that looks like I got a total of 5,568. So then what will happen is my partner will also choose four digits from the deck, make two two-digit numbers, and they will go through the same process. And we will see who had the largest product after we both have our turn, and that person will be the winner of that round. So in class, we will practice playing multiplication wrestling, and it'll be fun. You'll like it. You've got this, guys. See you then.